So it's been a night of appreciation for us Sedona Mother. So at this moment, she's about to find out those gifts that she will receive from the government and people of the Cayman Islands. But I have a heads up. I know the gifts she'll be getting already this evening. She, received, she receives a Chevy Tahoe SUV from the government and, and people of the Cayman Islands, as well as a check for 5,000 CI dollars because of her accomplishment last week Monday in New Delhi, India, and winning the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. The first Caymanian to win a Commonwealth Games gold medal. And uh, joining me now is the Deputy Director of Sports Minister, Mr. Colin Anglin, former athlete himself, but he's wearing both hats this evening. Colin, how do you feel about the turnout uh, for Sedona here this evening and the community support? Um, I'm very proud of, of what's happening here. Um, it's so good to see that we're actually showing such appreciation for an incredible achievement, you know, for, for Sidoni Mothersil, who's representing the Cayman Islands. She's car she carried us so well on her back for so many years. And so this is incredible. Um, it shows the power of sports, one of the very important aspects of building national pride. Because when we have a Caymanian athlete that's out there and they're competing against the world, they're not only competing for themselves, they're carrying the Cayman Islands flag behind them. You're working in the Department of Sports now, Colin, and uh, as the Deputy Director, what was your input in the gift selection for Sedona? Well, what we did was uh, we, we've done some research on what some other um, national associations and national governing bodies actually do for their track athletes based on what... Uh, they actually uh, reward them with for certain performances in certain types of, of events. So we use some of that research uh, to kind of gauge and help, help make a good decision in regards to that. If you just missed it, uh, Joel Francis from the ministry just presented Sedoni with the check for $5,000 and he's about to present her with the keys to the 2010 Chevy Tahoe and the crowd has gone crazy. Sedoni mother, so the, the entire appreciation here for her uh, how much she's deserved this uh, calling as a former athlete as yourself you know the toil Sidoni has you've known her for many years how do you feel about what she's achieved well she absolutely deserves it I don't think that uh, that most people really realize the amount of sacrifice the hard work the dedication the mental toughness and the level of perseverance that actually um, uh, exists within an athlete like Sedoni. It's it's not easy to be out there competing against the best in the world from a country of 40,000 or if you want to say 60,000 now. Compare that to the percentage of what we represent in the world. That is an incredible, incredible accomplishment. So um, she absolutely deserves every bit of it. And um, it's still only a small token when you look at how much uh, painstaking effort, sacrifice, putting your body to the limits, stretching it beyond capacity. She absolutely deserves it. With songs of the world's greatest in the background, Sedona Mother still receiving uh, her keys and her check after her fantastic achievement at the Commonwealth Games in New Delhi, India. Thanks so much for joining us here, Colin Anglin. And uh, we move on in this evening's sportscast. Sedona is about to make a speech here, and uh, we'll bring you some more of that later on at Cayman 27 tonight. But moving on, some cricket news. There's a new man at the helm of West Indies cricket. And it's not Chris Gill. His name is Darren Sammy, the St. Lucian all-rounder. He's taken over from the Jamaican all-rounder, our batsman, Chris Gill. And uh, Sammy will lead the West Indies team to Sri Lanka in a few weeks' time. Sammy became the first St. Lucian to play a test cricket. Now he'll lead the West Indies team. Let's take a quick look at the team uh, heading over to Sri Lanka. Led by Sammy and his assistant. Vice captain is Brendan Nash Gill. Uh, the team without Ram the rest are one, the veteran batsman, he's not been selected. But there's a look at the team. Adrian Barat, Carlton Ball Jr., Sulman Ben, Darren Bravo, Dwayne Bravo, Shiv Chandapal, Nilon Pascal, Kimar Roach, Andre Russell, Shane Schillingford, the spinner, Devon Smith, uh, Devon Thomas. So that's a look at the West Indies team heading over to Sri Lanka. And I'll leave you here from the Hero Square this evening, where Sidoni Mothersil has just received the keys to a new 2010 Chevy Tahoe and $5,000 for her achievement last week Monday in New Delhi, India.